I've tried the fingerprint sensor of the future and it works pretty well. Not amazing. It gets the job done. So we're looking at a Vivo prototype. Vivo, a Chinese smartphone company, worked with Synaptics, which just recently put out its first in-screen fingerprint sensor, and that's sitting under the display right here. It's actually a really clever, almost elegant solution. In case you didn't know, here's how smartphone screens are generally laid out. There's a top pane of glass, usually Gorilla Glass. Then there's the panel itself, in this case, the OLED panel. Under that, in this case, is Synaptics' fingerprint sensor. It uses the light from the OLED display to illuminate your fingerprint as it's pressed on the glass. It checks out against a fingerprint that's already been stored and voila, you're up and running with the phone. As I said, really clever, right? I've been trying it for a few minutes here in the Synaptics booth behind three miles of drones in South Hall and it actually does work pretty well. There were moments where I would sort of mash my thumb against the screen and it wouldn't work and that I think speaks to one of the potential pitfalls of this technology. It does take one snapshot of your finger and uses that as the baseline for future attempts to log in. If you happen to press a little too hard or maybe not quite hard enough, Enough. If that doesn't match up with what it saw the first time, you're gonna have to try again or punch in your pin. I should also point out that people screw up their screens all the time. So if a scratch or a crack happens to run across the spot where the fingerprint sensor sits, it's feasible that you wouldn't be able to log in with your fingerprint after that. Theoretically, you should be able to go back in uh, with another login method and re-register, thereby making that fingerprint the new normal and it should work just fine, but really who wants to kind of touch a crack all day when you don't have to? When it does work, it works surprisingly well. It's not quite as fast as what you'd see on, say, a traditional fingerprint sensor on an iPhone, but considering the technology and considering how unfinished this particular software is in a prototype device, no less, I'm still pretty impressed. There's a lot more to see and experience here at CES 2018, so join us for much, much more.